Kathy Brown, registered dietitian, yoga teacher, and soon-to-be mom. I am currently in my uh, third trimester. Actually, I just hit 40 weeks today. Um, so our little baby will be coming any day now. Um, and so I thought I'd share with you and round out my series of my pregnancy journey um, with an update from my third trimester. And so when I started jotting down um, some thoughts about my third trimester, um, I realized that this would be a really, really, really long video. Um, so I'm probably going to break it up into two, maybe three or four parts um, because there's a lot that I want to talk to you guys about and a lot that I want to cover. So um, enough chit chat and I'm going to just start diving right in. So this first video is going to focus all around the, the physical health because that is um, what I initiated this series with. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm bouncing a lot. I am currently on a yoga ball <laughs> um, because it's, it's the most comfortable right now, um, which I will talk about that in a later video. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, steady weight gain. If you've seen my second trimester video, which I'll link right up here, um, you will know that I didn't really start to experience um, a physical bump until well into my second trimester. Probably around 22 weeks of pregnancy is when I really first started to notice um, an actual bump, which for me was kind of disappointing because I wanted to, to, to have a physical representation of <laughs> my pregnancy um, a lot sooner. But either way, everyone's body is different. Um, but from that point on, my belly grew almost uh, daily, it felt like. And I, you know, had um, kept it moisturized for sure. Um, the one that I, the moisturizer that I used was called Tummy Butter. And th basically what I recommend is something that is um, really thick. So not like a lotion, more like a, um, like a cream, something that will last and stay on your belly. It should be kind of like greasy and should stay on your belly and not just soak into your skin all at once. That's what's going to help, um, reduce all of that itchiness. Um, whether or not it works for stretch marks, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of, um, kind of back and forth in, in the research on that. Um, but for easing the itchiness, absolutely. <laughs> Highly recommend any kind of product you can get um, to help deal with some of that itchiness. Um, so obviously, while your belly is growing, uh, you are also steadily gaining weight. And typically, it's about a pound a week. Um, and, and I actually ended up staying right on that trajectory without trying. Um, as, as a, an individual who really focuses on intuitive eating, but also as a dietitian who um, loves to encourage people to learn about intuitive and mindful eating, that, that is something that I just, I continued on with throughout my entire pregnancy of just eating when I'm hungry um, and being okay with eating whatever my body was telling me to eat. Um, because at the end of the day, it's better to be fed <laughs> and grow a healthy baby than to count calories and do all these these crazy things that just add an extra layer of stress when you know you're you're already going through a lot uh, to begin with. So I highly highly recommend just eating till you are satisfied, um, and sometimes that's more than you might think. Um, I know for me personally, just yesterday I felt like. I was eating every two hours, like like a, a solid, <laughs> not a full size meal, but a solid snack. Um, and then after lunch, like literally, I, I had a a veggie burger and I finished it, and I was like, okay, that was my appetizer. I need more, <laughs> so I just I kept eating until I was actually full. Um, and that's just what you have to do. Um, and I know for a lot of people, it can be um, difficult to see your weight rise, um, especially if you're on weekly doctor's appointments. 
Um, and I wasn't sure how I would react to that because personally I've had some weight, um, not, <laughs> not issues, but weight stigma in the past. And I was very concerned about my weight. Um, but through my years of um, learning about my body and, you know, learning to love my body and all of that kind of stuff, I, every doctor's appointment, I was actually excited to see how much, you know, progress I had made or how much weight I had gained or anything like that. Um, it just so happened that I was right on that trajectory. I was gaining about a pound a week, um, which was, which is kind of cool. Um, so, but yeah, that is, that is kind of what I have to say about weight gain. So flowing into that, um, with nutrition specifically for the third trimester, again, I touched on it for the first and second trimesters in my other videos, um, which I've are linked in a playlist, but also in the description box below. Um, but specifically for the third trimester, there are four big things that you want to um, not necessarily like focus on, but make sure you're getting enough um, if you're not already supplementing with a couple of things. So the big, big one is water. Drink lots of water. You will most likely be thirsty um, more often. Um, I, I definitely am. I've, I've drank more this trimester than I have any of the other ones. Um, but it's just because your body now has so much more blood than it ever has and potentially that it ever will. Um, and it's really, really important to stay hydrated during this time. Um, so keep, keep water with you. I know it's annoying to go to the bathroom every 10 seconds, um, but it's better than being dehydrated and potentially having low amniotic fluid or getting dizzy or anything like that. So you definitely want to stay hydrated. The other big one that is common throughout all of pregnancy is protein. Um, people talk about protein a lot, but again, protein is super, super important because you are building all of this baby's, or you are supporting the building process of your baby's entire body. And with that comes all the muscles and tissues, and you need protein, specifically the amino acids that make up protein, um, in order to do that. So your protein needs as a pregnant woman are higher than normal. Um, so just make sure you're getting, you know, a solid protein source with every meal and or snack, and you're pretty much good. Um, you don't have to eat, you know, 200 grams of protein a day or anything like that. It's just make sure to get a quality protein source at each meal and potentially at each snack. Um, especially for vegan or vegetarian moms. Um, definitely try to include the protein with the snack as well, um, unless you're really, really good about eating a solid, you know, two cups of beans a day or so, um, or more. Um, so for me personally, I will typically try to have something, some type, of, I've been eating actually a lot of toast with peanut butter <laughs> and banana in the morning. Um, and then, you know, my snacks are typically something like a, um, you know, a, a granola bar or mixed nuts or something like that. Um, lunches vary a lot, but we've been doing lots of beans and rice or um, like the veggie burgers that I was talking about before um, or tofu scrambles or, you know, all those kinds of things. Again, then I would have another snack or two <laughs> before dinner. Um, dinner basically the same thing as lunch, um, focusing on those high protein foods like beans, um, tofu, tempeh, all those good sources. Um, and then, you know, I'll usually have some type of dessert, um, which usually isn't, has any protein in it. It's, it's mostly uh, fruit or the latest craving has been popsicles <laughs> and ice cream. I think it's because it's getting warmer out. So yeah, so protein, protein, protein. Um, and then two of the smaller nutrients to focus on are iron and zinc. Um, both of those, uh, again, iron, really important because of your blood supply. You now have more blood um, to, to carry nutrients throughout your body, so you want to make sure that blood is strong and blood is, has lots of iron in it in order to carry oxygen to your tissues. 
So um, high iron sources, if your prenatal already has iron in it, great. Um, if not, focus again on those high iron rich foods. Um, if you are vegan or vegetarian, pairing those foods with a source of vitamin C. For example, one of the really good sources of iron is actually beans. And so if you have beans and you have a raw vegetable that's high in vitamin C, um, or you like something like a, a bell pepper or really any fresh uh, piece of produce will have at least some sort of vitamin C in it. Um, just make sure that it's um, not cooked because heat will destroy vitamin C very quickly. So pair your beans with something like, you know, bell peppers or tomatoes or um, squeeze lime juice over it um, when, when you're about to eat it. All those things are just really good easy ways to make that iron from the plants more absorbable by your body. Um, other good plant sources of iron, whole grains, um, molasses is another really good one. Uh, blackstrap molasses specifically is a really good source of iron. Just try not to have too much of it. Um, I'm trying to think of other good sources. Oh, dark leafy greens are always good, um, but you're going to get the most bang for your buck out of beans um, for sure. And then zinc, as I mentioned, zinc is found in across mostly all plant foods, um, but a big amount of it is in the whole grains and the greens. Um, and so again, just making sure you're eating a variety of whole nutritious foods as often as possible. I know cravings kick in and those are perfect snack opportunities, but try to make sure your meals are loaded with all the whole fresh um, uh, foods, plant foods <laughs> uh, specifically. I guess this will be part one. I don't want to make these videos too long. So that's part one on nutrition so that you know the, the next couple of parts coming up, um, we'll be talking about exercise, um, and I'll give you some of my favorite resources that I've been using on exercise, um, both for, um, for total physical health, but also for a little bit of mental health as well, including yoga. Um, and then my third video will be all the resources that I have found useful um, that I've been uh, focusing on during my pregnancy. Um, so yeah, so I guess this will be a three part series. <laughs> uh, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you can see when the next two videos come out and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know in the comments below if you are currently expecting or if your partner's expecting or if you have any specific questions about, um, a plant-based pregnancy in particular. I try to keep these videos short and sweet. So I will see you next time. Bye.